Well, once again, we see multiple violent tantrums from the religion of permanent offence. Some things never change, do they? Once again, we see Islam self-detonate, if you'll pardon the expression, and show, once again, why it's about as welcome on this planet as an asteroid. Once again, we see thousands of Islamic nutcases take time out from beating up their wives to show their sensitive side. How? By smashing up the towns they live in, egged on by clerical ignoramuses whose motives are even lower than the literacy level of their followers. And once again, we in the civilized world are being urged to censor ourselves out of respect for a religion that violates the human rights of half the people on the planet and that doubles as a political ideology indistinguishable from Nazism. It would be funny if it wasn't so obscene. Or should that be the other way around? To call these riots infantile and imbecilic is to give them a dignity they don't deserve. They can only be described as Islamic. Let me get this straight. We're supposed to show tolerance and respect for a religion that doesn't know the meaning of either word and goes out of its way to prove it every day. We're supposed to amend our values to accommodate a religion that accommodates nothing and nobody. Dream on, people. It's not going to happen. Because with Islam, it's always a one-way street. We've learned that lesson the hard way. We can't afford any more tolerance and respect. We've been sucked dry. And we've become weary of manufactured Islamic grievance. It's such a bore that now when we hear some bearded buffoon or some bag-headed bimbo telling us how offended they are, we can't even be bothered to laugh anymore. Not even when the Turkish Prime Minister hilariously demands that Islamophobia now be made a crime against humanity, when, given the evidence, there's a much stronger case for making Islam a crime against humanity. Besides, Turkey is already hypocritically guilty of one of the worst crimes against humanity in history, the Armenian Genocide, a crime it doesn't even have the balls to admit to. When Muslims start showing the same level of outrage about things that are genuinely offensive, like the thousands of women and girls who are murdered and mutilated and raped every year in their countries, then we might take them a bit more seriously. As it is, there is nothing on this planet less deserving of sympathy or respect than Muslim outrage. Indeed, there's something deeply comical about it. It's so contrived and so cringingly unself-aware, it's impossible to take seriously, even if we wanted to, and nobody in their right mind wants to anymore. There was a time when Islam was given the benefit of the doubt by many people in the West. Now we think it's poison and we wish we'd never heard of it because 20 years of baseless grievance mongering and knee-jerk offence have shown us this religion for what it really is and now we don't like it, we don't trust it and we are never going to respect it and we don't care how Muslims feel about that. Everything's an insult to this religion. Everything causes offence. Well, nobody gives a damn anymore, people. You've done it to death. You've killed the goose that laid the golden egg. So now, if you're an offended Muslim, go stick your head in the oven for all we care. And if you think that if you keep up the violence, the West will eventually cave in, it's not going to happen. Even if the politicians want it to, the people won't allow it. We'll carry on speaking our minds openly and freely because it's our birthright and it can't be taken away from us. It can only be given away and we are giving Islam nothing because Islam gives us nothing. It's a religion permanently on the take. Gimme, gimme, gimme is all we ever hear. Gimme respect even though I haven't earned it. Gimme special treatment or I'll be offended and you'll be a racist. Well, we're sick and tired of hearing it. We're sick and tired of Islam and we're sick and tired of the needless conflict and intimidation that comes from this religion at every turn. All week we've heard Muslims telling us that we in the West need to understand how important the Prophet is to them. We do understand and we don't care. That's the point. We don't care now and we are never going to care. Get used to it. We don't give a damn about your feelings. Our feelings are more important and our feelings tell us that we're sick to the back teeth of hearing about your religion, so stick a sock in it. And no amount of violence is going to change a thing. The more you riot and scream and shout, the less we're going to listen. It'll simply stiffen our resolve not to be bullied and pushed around by people whose values we don't respect because you've given us no reason to respect them and, more to the point, because you are incapable of giving us such a reason. 
In short, we will not be told what we can and cannot say. Not by you, not by anybody, not now, not ever. No matter how many flags you burn, no matter how many embassies you attack, free speech will prevail and you'll suck it up and like it.